Hey, everybody, Ann here, sitting out in front of the chicken yard, bright and early, and it's a chilly morning, so I got my new hat on, just watching my chickens, and oh, it's sunny, sunny. All of the six baby chicks made it through the cold night last night. Guess that heat mat works just fine. Um, it got down to like 46, I think, um, but it just feels so wonderful out here. Oh, my goodness. So I'm just enjoying my chickens, and uh, I don't know what I'm going to get done today. It's probably going to be revolving around the chickens, because I'm going to have to be able to accommodate roosters and hens and figure stuff out. Um, I need to find a couple pallets, because I need to turn that other little cage into a coop. I've just got some thinking to do, uh, so I'll just figure it out a little by little. I haven't had all my coffee yet. I just made a a big nice pot of coffee and um, just looking around at the colors the way they are right now and the sun the quality of the sunshine it's just beautiful out here so I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit longer with Papa he's sitting right over there I'll show you in a second and uh, well just get this day started look at that boy Papa's so good he knows I'm talking about him he was sitting behind me but he came out and took that spot so he could look at me He's turned out to be the best dog ever. You know what? It is 3 p.m. and I've done a bunch of stuff and I didn't film any of it. <laughs> uh, I really wanted to make that uh, side yard a little bit better and closed on the top. So I did. And um, it looks janky. <laughs> yeah, I put some shower curtains up, moved some tarps around, moved some netting around. So 90% of the side yard is the top is covered because the chickens have been flying out <laughs> so um, what I'd eventually like to do is just get one or two big tarps and just cover the whole top like that um, and just leave a small area open you know for sunshine and whatnot um, with the netting um, but I don't even know if they make tarps that big I mean it's like 16, I mean 16 of my feet, I don't know if my foot is actually a foot, uh, by about 24, so I'm going to look, I'm going to look into that and see if they have tarps big enough for that, and so many of these tarps are just getting so raggedy, but um, yeah, the, the shower curtain things, they work pretty good, uh, I don't know how well they'll hold up, but, um, oh, and I also put in... I don't know if you can see, there's some siding panels on the side, but behind them, I put in some nesting boxes, uh, just one crate and one of the nesting boxes that was a, um, basically a tote. I just took the little door, uh, door from the front of it and um, took that off, and the lid is actually the bottom, put some bedding in it, and put some fake eggs, so I don't know, maybe they'll start laying eggs soon. There's Papa. He's been such a good boy all day today. So, um, oh, and the lilies are still growing. Yep, they're still looking pretty. And, uh, yeah, the cayenne pepper and the jalapeno peppers, they're still growing. But other than that, you guys, I've just, you know, been commiserating with, communing with nature and commiserating with my chickens. So, I think I'm just going to leave this one kind of short and, um... I don't know, maybe I'll film something tomorrow. It's just a lot of this stuff is just boring stuff, and I don't want to bore you. But um, I do enjoy, you know, making these videos. And um, I hope you enjoy them too, at least some of them. Maybe not all of them, but yeah. I tried to catch Torch today. Torch, yeah. I tried to, I don't know if you can see him back in there, but I tried to catch him so I could put him um, in with the Easter Eggers, but he wasn't having it. So I'm going to have to get like a big blanket or something um, and corner him and just toss it over him and catch him that way. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. He's too fast. But that'll happen eventually, and I've got to get that Easter Egger yard fixed up. Whew. Just didn't have the energy today. Um, so maybe that'll be tomorrow. Who knows? Oh, I do got to tell you a funny story. Okay. The other day, when I was trying to fix, uh, block off the front of the van, and so the nesting box could go up there, so that Miss Pris and her chickens, this was before she started attacking them, um, could all free range in the van safely, and so the hens could go in and out of the front and lay their eggs in the front of the van. Um, so I was doing it, and then I closed, 
I closed the van door, the side van door, and I couldn't get it open. I not for anything that I tried, I could not get it open. I got the crowbar out and I was getting up underneath of it and going at it from the side. I went inside, I pulled the door handle to make sure that it was unlocked and um, kicked at the door and and I was like frantic because um, Coco was trying to lay an egg. I could tell she was pacing, she was wanting to get up in the van and things weren't ready yet. So, um, I was able to, you know, of course, open up the, the passenger side door and go in through there. And, um, but I could not get the, the side door open. And I was freaking out because Miss Pris was in there with her babies. And I was just like, it was getting hot. And I was all sweaty. And I got the crowbar. And oh my gosh, I, I hosed up that door. I didn't break it, but I hosed it up. So I called, um, neighbor dude and neighbor dudette. And, um, I asked, well, uh, I got the wife on the phone, and, and I told her what was going on. She says, well, I can come over and try and help you. She came over, and she couldn't get it done. We worked together to try to get it open. She says, is it unlocked? And I'm like, well, yeah, it's unlocked. I mean, I can pull the handle, and but it just won't come open. And so we tried for a little while, and I was just like, oh, my gosh. So... Um, Later that evening, you know, and I told her, don't worry, don't, you know, tell your husband he doesn't have to worry about it today, he's going to be coming home from work, he's going to be tired, the last thing he wants is to come mess with this chicken coop door of mine, but he came over, he walked all the way over, and um, he's just kind of like, here, let me take a look at this. And um, so he climbed in the van uh, from the front, went inside, and I'm outside getting ready for him to tell me instructions, and all of a sudden the door magically, phew, opens without any struggle without any pounding without any crowbar it just opened and he opened it just a little bit and he looks at me and goes hey miss ann and then he pulls the <laughs> he pulls the doorknob lock the lock the little knobby thing he pulls it up and i'm like oh I hate you. I hate you. And I'm like, I slammed the door and I says, okay, let's see if we can get it to open again. And it opened right up. That's all that it was. Somehow I was in there working it and I must have hit the little lock thingy. You know, it's just one of those ones that goes up and down. And that's how it was. <laughs> it was so funny. I, I just got a good laugh. I told him I wish we had filmed that. That would have been hilarious. But uh, yeah, so that's just another... Um, a dumb dumb and story <laughs> I thought you would enjoy yep live and learn live and learn anyway thanks for watching that's all I got for you guys today see you in the next video Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.